Greetings everybody, I am Soviet Warlord and after long last I'm bringing you some Minecraft. Yeah, my problems have been quite substantial lately. Um, I've been having some trouble with the latest update, um, 1.6.1 and 1.6.2. With all this new launcher I've been having some trouble with it. And I've, well, just been busy really. Uh, I don't really like sharing too many details about what I do in the real world, but... Hey, I'll bring them up at some point. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Uh, I've got a few things planned for today with all of the new update stuff coming out. So I'm going to go back to Hampton Tower and I will show you what's up. I'm telling you what, I love this new respiration helmet. <laughs> oh shit, this is lovely. I can stand here for nearly 60 full seconds and I don't ever need to worry. It's great. So I think what each one of those bubbles is about six seconds or just a little less. So that's a long time I can stay under here. Now, uh, one of the features I was really looking forward to uh, when 1.6 came out was this stained hardened clay, I believe. I believe that's the name of it. Because uh, I did not think there was enough decorative stuff in, uh, in Minecraft. And wool kind of gets old. It doesn't look very practical when you're trying to build buildings out of it. So I thought, you know what? Screw it. Get these hardened clay bricks. They look like they actually belong on the outside of the building. I also heard there's carpets, which I might actually put down. I heard they can be put over glass, so I could make Hampton Towers middle area. Like really, uh, really fancy. Put some carpet over the glass. And again, the glass kind of makes the whole tower really nice. Uh, I, d I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to explore with it. But right now, I'm just collecting a lot of clay. Uh, I've been trying to collect nether quartz, but I'm going to wait till I get a fortune. A fortune pickaxe. Uh, I've got a lot of this uh, these clay blocks back home, but I'm just collecting some more. Because I plan to start a big project today. One that I've actually been long overdue to start in the first place. Oh god, nice little air pocket right here. <laughs> uh, got this here. What else? Anything else? Nope. That was quite a large clay strain right there. Strain? Vein, I'm sorry. I did not realise the swamp pond had so much clay in it. <laughs> I've been getting all of mine from uh, the river near the desert biome. But I'm going to harvest all this and I'll meet you back at base. And I'm back. Uh, I've got my survival kit. I just went to check my blueprints and that reminds me, yep, I do need to change that back. Now, the one thing I've forgotten now is um, creepers and zombies. Well, zombies can now track you from 40 blocks away. Um, everything gets stronger the longer you're in the same area. And spiders now have a chance of spawning with potion effects. Which is all pretty bad. Oh, and I heard zombies get stronger um, the weaker they get as well. Oh god. Why did I have to light up so many caves? Be gone! Oh god, those fuckers are accurate. They can hit you hard. Now, it seems a bit stupid the fact I'm going out at night here, but hey. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is not fun. I swear my hunger bar goes down faster now. Oh, an enderman. Don't even bother with the enderman. Yeah, I've forgotten. I've only got this ch uh, chest plate. I forgot to replace my armour. It's been a while since I've been back on Minecraft. I wanted to get some more fresh ideas. I've been playing on a few little worlds. I was looking for a, a suitable mountain for what I have planned here. I think it's the early stages of the night, so I'm going to have some problems here. Be gone! Be gone! So that's, that zombie can see me. The distance they can see you is fucking crazy. The hell? I didn't even knock him back. Can 
Come on now. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> These zombies, I'm telling you. It's a flash mob. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the fuck is this about? This is like a, a survival arena, zombie survival. <laughs> That, that, that may, gives me an idea, actually. I could build a zombie survival arena somewhere. But they say still just keep coming. I don't get it. These things are fucking insane now. Mind you, good for XP grinding. You know how to deal with these things. Ow. I, I swear they get faster when they're really close as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the site that I plan to build on. <laughs> Fucking running around the outside here at night is a scary ordeal now. Get those zombie uh, baby villagers and baby zombies just come charging me. Fucking hell. Still, it's daybreak now and I'm at the site where I plan to build. Now, I've brought a whole complement of tools with me. I just saw this coal, so I might as well dig it out. It's this mountain on my left here. I chose this because it's long and thin. Now the reason I like these long and thin mountains is um, because I can convert them. Oh wow, this this isn't... Okay, it's connected to a corner. That shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Uh, I plan to make a sort of wireframe out of this. Now I got the inspiration for quite a lot of the, the design here off of Ethos Lab. Uh, I follow Ethos Lab um, I would say religiously, but that's going a bit too far, but... <laughs> was that a zombie villager? No. Thought he was hiding under that tree. But no, uh, I plan to turn this whole mountain into the basis for the next project. It's going to be a mob spawner. I really have needed a mob spawner for a very long time now. So I need to mark out some of this base here. Uh, so let me get up on top here. But this is actually quite tall. Right, where am I going to start here? Um, let's try here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this block as the beginning basis for this. Um, and I'm committing an all-time sin doing this. <laughs> Please forgive me. There we go. Uh, excellent. So this block here is where it's all going to start off. And that's just about a ground level, so that's perfect. Uh, I'm, I have the approach that I'm going to build the outline and then hollow out and dust up. But I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out for me, because uh, I haven't actually built that much of a plan for this. I mean, I've played around with it a little bit in my blueprint world, but I've never actually done anything. So I've brought a lot of these hardened clay bricks with me. Now, um, I wanted to use clay bricks, as I said earlier. So right, that's going to be the inside corner here. Uh, so it's going to go out like that. Mm -hmm. So then this. One, two, three. 
it's this is gonna be circular, as you're probably guessing. Uh, it is quite tiring. I mean, we've had some fucking beautiful weather in Britain over the last couple of um, couple of days. I mean, I was working at the weekend. Um, today is Thursday, if I'm correctly. So uh, I was working the weekend just gone, and oh my god, the weather's fucking fantastic. <laughs> uh, I, I just. No, uh, I haven't had enough of this weather. It's beautiful, but uh, I work in retail and uh, I sold so many paddling pools. It's incredible, but uh, I'm looking at packing it in and um, applying to the police. <laughs> so I've got quite a bit going on. That's uh, one of the reasons why I'm busy. I don't like talking too much, but I think the the bare essentials I think I can tell you about. So I'm looking at joining the police. So uh, that's partially why I've been busy. Right, I'm going to adapt some of this and I'll show you the sort of skeleton framework of it. Here we go. Uh, I've laid out the foundations. I mean, it's getting late here. I um, don't know where the mobs have gone tonight. <laughs> and maybe all the caves below here are not lit up. Uh, I probably assume that the caves under here aren't lit up where I am now. But uh, I've brought my respiration helmet, my feather falling boots, because I, I actually feel lost without respiration now. Now it gives you that sight boost underwater. Uh, if, you, if you don't believe me, if I take this off here and jump in, see it's all dark. As soon as you put it on, instant night vision. So that's really useful. Anyway, I'm um, hardening up the clay in the furnace over there. I brought my stash with me. Uh, let me show you my stash here. So I've got a 64, a 64, a 64, and a 64 here. There's still some left at the base, but I brought over a lot of my clay stash, but I haven't hardened it up until now, because this is the first time I've been in 1.6. So that's all hardened up. I, re I enchanted another pickaxe. This one's been lasting me a while. I've already been through a diamond pickaxe, just hollowing this area out. But now this is the shape of um, what's going to be called Sherwin Court. Um... These are going to be turrets. They're a bit oddly shaped, but uh, I think they're going to go nicely. The reason they're so oddly shaped is because I'm leaving some space here. Uh, I've marked out these boundary walls because I'm going to have a really nice um, feature in the wall here. Um, over here is a flat end. Why is it flat? Because there's going to be a billboard on the other side. This is going to be a sort of bulging out window. Because I want to try and get a view over the mountains. I'm gonna have to trim the mountains down. That's that's uh, no, there's no getting around that. But I've got the idea of using blue wool as inside contrasting decorations. Because my favourite colour is blue, and this building is modelled after someone uh, called Alex. So her favourite colour is yellow. Hence why I've got this yellow hardened clay. And I think yellow would actually go really well with this building. So I'm going to put yellow inside the building with blue sort of highlights while I'm waiting for that to cook up. Each floor is going to have a four block clearance. I aim to make this two floors high. Uh, these turrets are going to be four stories high, though the only levels in them that are going to be accessible is levels one and two. And the roof is preferably going to be a wooden peak roof, a bit like the pagoda wall. And then on top of that, I plan to build the mob system. Now, I've always been hesitant to build an above ground mob system because they look ugly as fuck. Let, let's put it that way. They just look disgustingly ugly. But I have a way I can possibly make it look nice. So I'm going to wait until this brews up and then I'll build this for you on camera. So bear with me a little while. Uh, okay, I'm ready to go here. Uh, I've put out the first layer of glass here. Now this water feature is going to be about four blocks high, the same as the roof clearance here. That's two layers. Yeah, I think the third layer is going to be the next beam of, uh, of clay. So con converting a mountain is its not the easiest task in the world, I'm going to be honest. But it's a very satisfying... Come on, put... There we go, go down. It's not the... Great. It's not the easiest task in the world, but it's very satisfying when you do it. <laughs> that's uh, that's the way I like to look at it. 
so the clearance of this roof here is four blocks high it's a little bit higher because I need to make way for the billboard that's going to go on the side mainly and because I think four blocks high just looks a lot nicer a lot crisper and clearer really so let's put put the glass in here and my TV is for some reason a lot louder than it was about 10 seconds ago <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. My, my TV just decides to go loud when it wants to. It's like, oh, are you recording now? Let's go loud. But no, I, I got a lot of... I get a lot of my ideas for architecture off of uh, watching people like Vintage Beef, uh, Ethos Lab. I mean, they're, they're, they're great. Uh, they're great Minecrafters. I, mean, I, I don't steal their ideas. But uh, I, I think it's perfectly healthy for anybody to take inspiration off of um, the way pe other people do things. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Not in the slightest. In fact, I encourage people to borrow ideas because uh, it helps you develop your own personal style of uh, your own personal style of building. So pfft, nothing. Hold on, Matt. Sorry, my TV is way too loud. <laughs> I got a new microphone as well, so um, could you leave comments about how well the microphone is? Because uh, this is the first time I'm using it. I got a PX twelves, are they? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to check, but uh, they're they're PX Turtle Beach headphones. I'm actually really chuffed with them. I, I think they're really good. I'm not going to have enough to fill out this turret. It's going to be a bit sad. Okay, yeah, not enough to fill this thing out. I'm going to have to brew up some more sand. Not, not like I don't have enough of it, there's fucking loads around here. Well, that, that'll do as a marker. So the next floor up here, uh, because this is three, three, there's four here, so the next layer up is going to be the, uh, the, the layer of uh, clay above it. Let's see whether I can mark this out. And one right here. Right here. And here. Here. And now I go into the building. I have to make way for the support pillars. So yeah, I've uh, I've re-entered the uh, the dating scene, as they say. Um, got myself a love interest. Uh, she, I don't, I don't really want to put any details in about it. I think I'll shut up now. But that's one reason why I've been busy. So I've been trying to trying to join the police, which is something as a reason why I'm busy. I've got a new love interest, which is also taking up quite a bit of my time. No, I don't like rubbing it in people's faces about love interests because uh, I know I didn't like hearing about it when I, when I was a bit younger. So I don't think anyone really wants to hear about it. It's like, um, to me, talking about being in a relationship to people who are single it is like a slap in the face. <laughs> it's like being slapped in the face if you're single. At least uh, that's how, what I feel like I'm doing when I talk to people who are who are single I feel like I'm rubbing it in and uh, I'm basically slapping them in the face so I try my best not to mind you there are a lot of hypocritical people about that try telling someone and they're like oh well you're rubbing it in my face blah 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 you're making me feel shit and I'm like oh, you hypocrite made me feel shit so <laughs> fuck off but hey, then there is just no telling some people. Stupid people are stupid. Um, I think there's a, a story came out lately about online gaming. I think it was someone playing RuneScape who got harassed online. And um, the person harassing him told him to go and kill himself. And he, he responded with a very affectionate line of, Yes, I will kill myself, but I will take out a primary school with me. Now... 
obviously you would never say that in any normal day situation granted <laughs> you, you you would never say that because the, the these day and age well, this day and age that could be taken anyway and no one ever wants to joke about things like that me included i'd never joke about shooting up schools and school killings now that, that's just sick and wrong but i know that people say what they don't mean a lot two days later after he said this on runescape he had uh, I, I can't confirm the details but i think he had a swat team come and raid his house and he got arrested for it now i think this is bollocks why do i think it's bollocks i mean i know, I know they're trying to cut down on the trolling thing but just trying to make an example out of someone for purely making an example out of someone is kind of wrong granted if they see a person who's who is trolling as they say as they so affectionately put it and he gets imprisoned for 10 years which is what they want to do to him and he gets fined a quarter of a million dollars which is the other condition that he gets uh, convicted if they see that happening uh, they're probably going to think oh shit we better not do it so I can see the merits in doing it but ruining a 19 year old man's life I mean he's going to go to prison until he's 29 that's going to go on his criminal record so that when he gets out of prison no one will employ him because no one wants to employ a criminal these days you can say what you like but it's very difficult to find work if you're a criminal or an ex-criminal so he's going to come out of that he can't get a job he's now 29 so now he's come out he can't get a job he can't he can't pay that two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine so he's gonna maybe find a, find work by the time he's 50 probably he will have paid that off so from 19 to 50 his life ruined i, I don't think that's an appropriate crime for trolling as a as they're trying to abolish i, I just think it's ridiculous and uh I mean, I, I could I could go out. Let's put it this way: I could go out and I and I could kidnap people, and and I would get a lesser sentence than that. In a, in a day where trolling gets a higher sentence than kidnapping, uh, I think the days of needing another legal system are upon us. Just putting it putting it out there. I I just think it's crap, and uh, and I think it will be. It'll be in the interest of everyone's common sense if this this man was released. I mean, even the inmates at the prison don't even know why he's in there. <laughs> and even even if the inmates are looking at you, going, what "The fuck are you doing here, mate?" <laughs> then then I, th I think you've got a bit of a problem here. But no, that's just my two two cents on it. Uh, I I just think it's crap. And that if there's a petition to have him released, I will be more than happy to sign it. <laughs> Still, that's a. Uh, that's the world affairs that's the way the world works nowadays so what who am i to uh, who am i to try and change it it's not like i could change it anyway one man can't change the world but hundreds of people can mind you you can always argue against that i don't care so that's the second outline here um i'm gonna lay out this glass i need to cook up some more glass so once i've got that done i'll be back again Right, here we go. Um, now, for this water feature, I've got this these wool blocks here. Now, I need to sort of isolate it from the outside. So, I've put this in, so this is going to be a front window. It needs to probably... I don't want it to overlap here, but I think I've left the perfect shape for this. So, I want blue wool. Oh, shit, not there. <laughs> not there. So, I want blue wool that spreads right the way to here I think that leaves a pretty nice uh, sort of space mind you is, is this this thing goes this thing go a little bit too far back perhaps no I think I could get away with it actually I could get away with this hopefully I've got enough blue wall to cover this room or this chamber, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, I'll have enough. Like that. Now I need to dig this down one for the uh, the water pool. So if you ever did go up to the window, you'd see the pool. 
Otherwise it would look weird flowing up against the window. Now the waterfall's probably going to come from the second floor up. So at the moment I can't actually add anything here. This is like your divider though. If we don't need torches. Yes I do. Uh, I just need to keep this lit up. I don't want it to um, have any, any nasties spawning here. Right, now this window here. Now it's a turret window. So, yeah, I used up all my yellow hardened clay. So, I do want this to connect. Luckily, I've got enough of these glass panes at home to uh, make a small, real-life fucking greenhouse. Okay, I'm going to need some more yellows. And yep, the middle here. These hardened clay bricks are really expensive. And they're very time-consuming to get as well, it's, oh. it's crazy. So here, here's my little window panes. Okay, that doesn't work. I want this window to sort of wrap around, so if I knock this out and then join this window pane up. join it like that. What about this? That's a bit better. It's a bit wider. That's what I like. No, that top one still needs to remain. But this needs a divider. Okay, this is starting to annoy me now. That doesn't look very professional at all. Alright, give me, give me a minute here. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. I've had to make a few adjustments, but actually the adjustments benefit me more than harm me. I mean, uh, I did have to get rid of one of my steps here. But that means I've just broken up the blue a little bit. And I think that looks perfectly fine. I think, oh, words. I think that looks very nice, actually. Now, um, I still have the front here to do. Now, I'm trying to think of how I can separate these windows. Uh, I was thinking of just making a straight beeline straight across. Like so. And curving it back in one so that this connects up. I think that would work quite nicely. Yeah, I think that would look fine. Uh, let me just join them up. And to the tips of these buildings are very, uh, very fiddly. Got enough for a little bit more. Got my, my chest full of shit over there. So I can always dip into that if I need some uh, extra materials. I just want to get it sheltered so that when the night comes I don't have to stand in the corner and fight for my life. Because uh, that extra zombies mechanic is very, very nerve-wracking at the best of times. Oh, here we go. I hear skeletons. Right, time to fight out the night. Where's my sword? Fuck, I don't know where my sword is. Shit. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to fight this out. <laughs> Give me a while. Uh. All right. This is about as much as I'm probably going to get done tonight. I mean, it's nearly three o'clock in the morning here. I'm absolutely shattered. I've been building this for ages. I've been doing trips to and from the forest just beyond here. Get me some more birch wood. I'm just knackered. Uh, I've added in this wall here, as you can see, and the glass. So we can see, go, see up top. That's going to be part of the second floor when I was digging this place out. I've added in this staircase of oak wood. I need something to put along the sides to make it a bit more authentic. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I was thinking of tapering it off. But uh, it looks really ugly if you put it next to glass panes because the paint sort of automatically sticks itself to it. I want want a kind of two or three clearance on these sides so I have a balcony to walk around. Uh, I'm keeping to that at the moment so... Hmm. I mean this building isn't going to be totally symmetrical. This side's going to be a bit more oh. bulky. It, it's, it's trying to look modern. Plus, I want to put some sort of decoration behind this wall. I might do that actually, uh, but I don't have I don't have much blue wool left. Uh, just think here. Mm hmm. So yeah, if I fill this out here, which is the sort of decoration I was looking for, and then this sort of tapers up, I could hide it from the main floor. So I've still got to get rid of this anyway, this looks stupid. Oh, what's that stuff? That's made of blue wool, which you can probably see. Yeah, I'm, I'm so low on clay, it's ridiculous. Right, where'd I put those materials? Okay, I forgot I made two more stacks. That's useful. Two. I notice most of the time I start recording after I've just eaten, so I'm always at a full bar. Over on this corner here is going to be um, glass to here. Actually, I think it's only going to be glass to one block because uh, I need to separate this so it doesn't show all the blue wool from the outside. This needs to be divided. I'm going to divide this too. I'm going to need more blue wool though. Definitely going to need more blue wool. Because I'm going to put a decoration in front of this window. Yeah, that would look alright. I need to put something there. I might put water in this uh, this ditch here. I think water would look quite nice. But I'm going to play with it because uh, I'm getting tired and my uh, my creative sense is probably failing on me right about now. So uh, I'm the Soviet uh. Warlord and this has been an episode of Minecraft. I'll see you again next time. And there appears to be a cow invading my property. Uh. Anyway, I'll see you later guys. Peace out.